Hello gorgeous, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going over my July favorites and fails. I had some big winners, I had some big losers, and I had one that I raved about last month that is now on my naughty list. So if you want to hear all about it, then just keep watching. I tried the e.l.f. Poreless. This is the Liquid Poreless Putty Primer, and this I like. I'm going to call it a high mid-range because I think there is an audience for this. It just might not be me. I think it does blur. I think it does do a nice job on my pores. I just would prefer that it be a more mattifying formula. So if you are a normal to dry skin or maybe a normal leaning oily kind of person, you would get more use out of this. But me as a really oily person, I have to be careful. I can use this, but with a more matte foundation, definitely breaking out the powders and mattifying setting spray. So while I can use this, this probably won't be my most reached for. I also tried from e.l.f. their new under eye brightener. This one I got in the lightest shade. I think it's called Fair Light. And this one, I directly compared it to the Becca under eye brightener, which I love. That I believe that one's 33. This one is six. And this, very good. I have been wearing this consistently under my eyes and I have noticed a difference with the dryness under my eyes. I feel like all of my concealers are going on a little bit nicer. I do like this. If you find that your under eyes get crepey and dry looking really easily, or you're wanting a no makeup makeup look and just want to tap some moisturizing, brightening cream on that still looks very natural, I highly recommend. In the eyeshadow category, I tried a few, and I will start with this Ciate London Brazilian Glow Eyeshadow Palette. I got this in my July BoxyCharm. This is what it looks like, and it's actually very pretty. I would say the formula is above average. My biggest gripe with this is just that it's $45. Is this workable? Yes. Is the color story pretty? Yes. Would I wait and pick it up on sale if you're really drawn to it? Yes. I also tried one of the new e.l.f. 10 pan palettes. This one is in the variation Intergalactic and I had some fun with this palette. This is what it looks like. You've got some pretty rosy mattes, some warm mattes, a nice black, a nice white. I mean, really very, very pretty. And I have played with it throughout the month and have very much enjoyed it. The mattes, I would say, are a little better than the shimmers. The shimmers can be a little chunky. I still think for $10 that e.l.f. has made a good palette here. I wouldn't mind picking up the all matte one because I think it would be a nice staple. I just wish that the shimmers were a little bit more like the e.l.f bite-sized shadows. I don't think the shimmers are quite that quality, but the mattes, great. And I love, love, love that they put a black and a white in there because you can deepen shades, you can lighten shades. There's a lot of versatility with this palette. I played with some new LYS this month, and this is the neutral palette that you can find on QVC. It is a beautiful palette. You've got a plum, a peachy pink, a nice neutral brown, and then three gorgeous shimmers. This is fantastic. I just love LYS's whole aesthetic. They always have a good message. Their price is not too high. I believe this is $25 on the QVC website. I'm hoping that it comes to the LYS site or the Sephora site, but right now you can get this on QVC, which is still fun because QVC has a lot of bundle deals. Is this number four? I think this is the fourth one, and this one is from Catrice. This is the Hot Mocha. I tried some things that I'd never tried from Catrice, and this palette, I believe, is $6 and it's gorgeous. I did a look that turned out a little rosier than I was anticipating, but I'm thinking it was because of this shimmer. I think this coppery shimmer leans like a mauve, but really, really gorgeous. And there are peachier shades. 
I have played with this palette a couple times this month. Very impressive. Mattes are great. Shimmers are smooth and popping enough. I like this. And the last one, and my number one, and I know this video just went up, but I do pre-film a little bit, so the last couple of days I have been obsessed with these two palettes from Glam Light. This is the Glam Light and Hershey's collab. I knew I was gonna love them, and I do. I have played with both palettes. First one I will show you is the Cookies and Cream. This is just a cool tone lover's dream, but there are some really nice shades to ground that cool toned look. I love this one. This one, when I used it in my video, it reminded me of a special Pat McGrath shimmer. So, so nice. I love all of these tones. These shimmers are a couple steps above. Maybe LYS competes, but this one, the shimmers are very, very special. Glam Light has a special shimmer formula and their mattes perform fabulously. The one that I'm wearing today is the Milk Chocolate palette. And this one, it's just, it's just gorgeous. And I love that you've got more of rosy browns, warmer browns, and then you've got so many fun shimmers to choose from. Today I went into this shade and I just packed it all over my lid. I was trying to keep it simple. Then I ended up blending out the edges with this shade right here. And then I went into this shimmer because I love the fact that it's got some silver in it. My lids look wet. I love this shimmer. I love all the shimmers, but this one I feel pulls in my gray top and gives it a warmth with that brown. So fabulous. Oh, by the way, I did finally wash my brushes. That darn brush fairy never did come. <laughs> in the liner category, I tried the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Matte Black. This one, I used it today just to show you. It is okay. I am not blown away by this. I have used inkier black liners that cost less. This is not my favorite product from Ulta Beauty. For mascara, I have two in front of me. The first is this one from Ulta. When I was doing my Ulta video, I did the Maximum Lashes Mascara. This is the one that came in that free kit. And this one is okay. I don't think it'll ever become a favorite. I can build it up to get pretty bold lashes. It's hard to see with this bold eye look, but my eyelashes are pretty bold. However, I had to really work to get them there. I went in and in and in, and it wasn't as enjoyable as like the MAC stack. Something about that brush, <laughs> you could just keep going and you're just enjoying how it's sliding through. This brush doesn't feel like that. I have a retraction to make from June's Favorites and Fails, and it was a mascara that I called The Hero. Well, The Hero has fallen. This IT Cosmetics Superhero Waterproof. This, I took to the beach with me and it did really well when I went on vacation in June. Well, I had a girls' night with my high school girlfriends from 30 years ago that we've all kept in touch and we sat by the pool. I got in the pool, I did not go under the water. I had a full face of makeup on, my hair was done. I just splashed around a little bit in the pool, but I don't believe that my face got wet. It was warm, but not crazy hot. And when we came in later that night, I looked in the mirror and I had dots all around my eyelid from where this mascara had transferred. I was so disappointed. I really thought that this was the best. And I had eyeshadow primer on, eyeshadow. It wasn't like my lids were naked. I don't know why that happened, but it makes me not want to reach for it. The last mascara that I want to mention is this mega length mascara that I picked up from another creator's recommendation and this one super cheap but I do not love it. This one I really struggle to build up on the top lashes. I think it dries fast so it really starts to, to stick and not enjoyable. However, one of you, I'm sorry I can't remember who it was, recommended that I use it on my bottom lashes. So that's what I did today. I have it on my bottom lashes and the wand is on the small side. So that makes it perfect. And I have not experienced smudging underneath. 
It might be because I'm baking now. I am baking my under eyes a little bit, but this one, I'll continue to use it on my bottom lashes. It does a great job there. In the foundation category, I only have one. I tried the Ulta Youthful Glow Foundation, and I have mine in the shade Light 10 Medium Neutral. I really, really like this foundation. This is a favorite across the board. I find myself reaching for this over and over again. The things that I like are that it's very thin, it's very skin-like. I wouldn't mind it having a little bit more coverage, on my good skin days, it's perfection. Right now, my skin is not perfect. I have a breakout here, a little bit of a breakout on my chin. Light to medium coverage. The only negative that I would say about this is that it has a pretty strong, I would call it floral scent. I don't love that, but it doesn't last. It's on sale right now. I hope that Ulta is not discontinuing it, but I really like this. If you want a thin, lightweight, skin-like foundation that provides a bit of coverage, this one's for you. To apply that foundation, I had tried the Stands Out Beauty Sponge that I've heard a couple of my favorite creators talk about, and this thing is great. I really enjoy it for patting on my foundation. I like that I don't have to wet it. I have used it a couple of times. I need to research a little bit more how often you should be washing it, I've probably used this four or five times, but wow, I even squish it and tap in under my eyes. I love the texture. We'll see how well it wears. I will keep you posted in next month's faves and fails, or if something happens in the meantime, if it falls apart when I try to wash it, I don't know. But for now, I'm loving how smooth my makeup is going on with this sponge. Moving on to concealer, I have a fail. And this, while it's not new in the market, it was new to me, and this is the e.l.f. I believe it's the Instant Bright Concealer. You know, I'm gonna pop up a picture, but it's the clicky one. And I had stopped using the Camo Concealer because I found that it was really drying under my eyes. So I picked this one up to use with the under eye brightener, hoping that this would be thin and nice and work out well. And while it is thin and lightweight and skin-like, it just didn't give me enough coverage. So there could be an audience for this. If you really do not struggle with dark under eyes and really just wanna use this for brightening, then I would recommend it. But for me, I need more. A concealer that did work for me is the Catrice True Skin Concealer. This one gives me more than the e.l.f. did. It is on the lightweight side. I would prefer that it have a little more coverage, but it's working well. I would call this a high average. I don't think this is going to be a favorite because I do still see a little bit of darkness under my eyes when I use it. I tried building it up and then it looked heavy. Again, if you're somebody that doesn't need a huge amount of coverage, this would be great. And this has gotten fabulous reviews and I'm not gonna take that away from it. I just need a little bit more. But this one, on the day-to-day, -day, I will continue using. I had a rocky video this month with ColourPop. I ordered the mystery box and was so not happy with it. But in that video, I picked up their new bronzer stick. I picked mine up in the shade Laguna Beach, and this, it's almost a little too light for my skin tone. I probably could go a shade or two deeper, but I really like the cool toneness of it. I do really enjoy the way that it applies. It blends super easy. It seems to last on my face. The price is nice. I do really like this. I have two blushes that are in my fail category. The first one is from my beloved Essence. You know I love Essence. I love their Baby Got blush. I have that in my stash, but I was dying to try the Essence What a Tint, and this did not do well. I had it on my cheeks and it just blended very splotchy. I was really hoping that it would be, see look, I'm blending how many seconds went by and it's just not moving. You could use this as a stain on your lips if you like a hot pink stain. I'm just not a hot pink kind of girl. So this, unfortunately, is not gonna work for me. The other cream blush that I didn't love was this Lucky Chick blush that I got in my BoxyCharm. 
and this one first of all the packaging is a little unstable it came apart when I was doing the video and that funny it's not doing it now maybe it just wasn't clicked in but this one it was hard for me to build up I mean I'm just really really digging on there and it didn't seem to last so this one I won't reach for and this shade is not my favorite a blush that I did enjoy is this one from Catrice this is their air blush and I chose mine in the matte version and the shade is spice space this one is the one that I have on today I was a little worried when I first swatched it because it doesn't show up a lot and it still is a bit of a soft oh look at that it came right it surprises me every time I swatch it I don't see anything and then I put it on my cheeks and I'm like oh there it is I love the essence baked blush for the shimmer effect I was just feeling the matte so I think my next Catrice purchase is going to be one of the shimmering blushes I want to see what they look like but really sturdy nice packaging I like it in the highlighter category I tried this one from Trey Luce I believe that's how you pronounce it in my boxy charm and this was the surprise love I really enjoy this highlight this is in the Playa dreams it's got two shades this is everlasting and it is a cream it's got a little cover on it and then this one is paradise and it is a powder I just used the powder today but really a very pretty highlight here's the powder and here's the cream I've never tried anything from this brand, but I love the packaging, very sturdy and a very quality product. I would be interested in trying more. Let me know if you have and what you recommend. In the lip liner category, I tried three different lip liners. This Ulta Automatic Lip Liner in the shade Spice. I also tried this one from Catrice. This is the Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Starring Roll. And then in the Glam Light Lip Kit, there was a lip liner. This is the Hershey Kisses, I'm assuming the chocolate, yes, the milk chocolate liner that came in that lip kit. And it's funny, I last night, I should have videoed it, but I swatched all three of these liners on my hand because I wanted to check the longevity. And the clear winner is the one from Catrice. This lip liner is one of the longest lasting affordable lip liners I've ever tried. However, it is a soft formula. It has broken twice on me when I went to apply it. I also need to apply it quick and not make too many adjustments because it will drag. It sets and it doesn't move. I don't think that I could fill in my lips with it because of the softness factor. However, I still think that it is a very good product and if you are gentler than I am, I am not a gentle person, you would probably really enjoy this lip liner. Or if you're a more precise and you can just line and go, this is going to last you. Absolutely great. And then the other two, I would say were about the same. They both I rubbed and they came off not with super ease I had to rub quite a bit but this Catrice one was not coming off I had to get out an oil cleanser so I would still say that these are good the one that I chose to wear today was the Hershey milk chocolate these are all twist ups but the Hershey is super creamy but hasn't broken so I like that about it and the Ulta very nice as well I like all three for lipstick, I loved the Hershey Milk Chocolate. This is a nice brownie, not too brown shade that I have very much enjoyed playing with. For today, I put on the newly formulated, I'm assuming, because I think they've had this formula before and then they changed the packaging. I'm assuming they changed the formula because this one does not feel as dry as the other one did. This is the Essence 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. I got mine in the shade Cinnamon Spice and I love it. This is so thin and lightweight, but does not apply patchy. It wears a good amount of time. I love the color. I love the curve of the doe foot and I love the price. This I definitely want more shades of. And then for gloss, I have, of course, the Hershey and Milk Chocolate Gloss. I like it. This is the one that smells the most like chocolate. It's a nice chocolatey brown. This is a winner. I also tried the NYX Fat Oil. This one 
was so hyped I had to try it because I feel like everybody I know is saying it's fabulous it's fabulous and I do like it is it going to be a top top favorite no but I would recommend over this one from NYX is the this is milky gloss mine must be in my bedroom I'm looking around and I don't see it but that one is beautiful I have mine in caramel latte and it is just there's something special about that gloss I really like it this one it's nice I'll keep it I'll use it but I like that one a little bit more the last thing I tried were setting sprays I tried two this month I tried the wet n wild natural finish this has been recommended it's lovely I do not believe that it mattifies my skin it reminds me of the other wet n wild one that I like so much the fight dirty I would say they are very much similar and the spray on this one is very nice the other one that I tried is this one from Catrice and this is the oil control matte fixing spray and this one I like the setting spray what I don't like is the spritzer this one is aggressive I don't know if you can tell the difference this one's a much finer mist this one's a much more aggressive mist so you'll see when I applied it I sprayed a brush and tapped it on I hope that that will work the same and if anything I'm probably gonna take a like here's my Milani make it last which I do enjoy and would replenish but maybe I can take this lid off and put it in there and see if it works better so that is everything I had lots of fun playing with makeup this month make sure that you are subscribed I would love to have you join me I upload videos on Mondays Wednesdays and Saturdays hitting that notification bell will let you know when I do upload Give the video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and I look forward to speaking with you in the comment section. Have a fabulous day. I'll see you in the next one.